In this episode of my Gato FPS tutorial series, we're creating a physics-based door using Gato's hinge joint 3D node. These tutorials are part of a long series of FPS tutorials for the Gato engine. The link to the door component episode is in the description, and as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato engine tutorials on my Patreon. To create a physics-based door, we need the following node structure for our door. First, the actual door is a rigid body 3D node that contains the door mesh and the collision shape. This also contains the interaction component from earlier in the series and the door component that we've been working on. Then we need to add a hinge joint 3D node. This node acts like a hinge physics constraint, setting an angular limit for our movement. This node needs a reference to our door rigid body, which will load into node A. Make sure the hinge joint 3D orientation is correct and fits the needs of your door. You can check within the viewport when selecting the node. The gizmo shows the angular limit settings. Then we make an adjustment to our door component script. If you need this script, check out the previous door tutorials to get up to speed or grab the files on my Patreon. In our script, we add a new door type named physics and an export variable named physics force, which will be the amount of impulse we add to the door when we interact with it. In the connect parent function, we add an or check to see if the door type is set to physics. And if it is, we connect our interaction signal from the interaction component to the check door function. Within the check door function, we want to use the existing door forward direction check and player to door direction check. After we check the door dot product and set our rotation adjustment, we add an if check for our door type. If the type is physics, we set a new variable door to our parent cast it as a rigid body 3D. I do this so I can get the autocompletes. Then apply impulse on the door using the door direction as the impulse vector multiplied by physics force and the negative rotation adjustment. This will add the impulse to the door based on what side the player is on, similar to our dual way door setup we did earlier. And that's it. You should now have a door that when interacted is pushed physically away from the player depending on what side the player is on. In the next video, we'll make it so the door interacts when the player runs into it. As always, you can get these source files for everything that you saw in this video on my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one, and as always, keep creating.